Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a second TJ Maxx haul. I wasn't going to, but I stopped at CJ, TJ Maxx when I went to, I don't even remember where we were. We were in Jersey, we went to Jersey. And I was like, you know what, let's stop at a TJ Maxx just to look, see if they have anything different there than where we are. And it was a combination TJ Maxx home goods, which I don't usually like those stores, I'll be honest with you. I don't really feel, I like TJ Maxx separate, home goods separate, but usually when they're together, not so much. But shockingly, we got some really good things and I wanted to share them with you today, along with the prices, because wow, I saved a lot of money, I have to say. So one of the first things that I got was the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. So this is really, really nice. I like the Stila products. I really do like them. I want to show you this because this was actually one of the better deals. I paid um, $9.99 for this product. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Everybody knows the Stila packaging. It's so beautiful. And this is what it looks like inside. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I really love that a lot. I don't know see the mirrors. It's like at the top of the mirrors. Um, beautiful. $9.99. And I looked to see if they're still selling this at Ulta or at Sephora. And Ulta still carries this. And they sell it for $32. $32. And I got it for $9.99. So I was rather pleased with that find. And I have on um, no foundation, just... Um, moisturizer today because it is really really hot in here and I'm sorry if you can hear the fan um, it is brutally hot here in Pennsylvania my neighbor has their HVAC system running right now and it sounds like a generator it's really 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 loud and I have to keep the windows closed and you probably can still hear the humming um, but I do have on no makeup but I do kind of want to touch this and see uh, what it looks like oh it feels very nice and creamy Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. It's really, it seems very light. Let's see. Oh, a little bit over there. Uh, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I can't tell the difference between sweating and this. So I have to give this a fair chance. But this looks like it's a very um, possibly sheer, which I don't have a problem with. I like blinding highlighters too. But I also like um, that like, kind of sun-kissed look. And this color is uh, incandescence. So I think this was the only color they had when I went, but I thought this was, I didn't know at the time uh, how much it was still at the other stores, but this is a really great deal. $9.99, $32 at Ulta. I'm anticipating that they're probably going to stop selling this at Ulta eventually because why would you go to Ulta if you could get this at TJ Maxx? So the second item I got, I never thought I would buy, honestly. Um, I know the last time I bought... Um, a Too Faced, the pineapple palette. Because I wanted that. I thought it was cute and I wanted it for that little green shimmer. Uh, but I found this uh, when I was there. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't really want it. It was 20 bucks. And then I was like, you know what? Yeah, I do find the Too Faced palettes really boring. But I have to tell you, I did watch many people do um, tutorials with this palette. And I just thought that I would get it because I just wanted to, it, it's cute. It's like collectible, even though the palette itself is like, eh. um, that's that right there. Beautiful colors. Let's put that like that. Oh, look how pretty the colors are. So nice neutrals. Um, it's kind of like Norvina a little bit. Um, and it smells amazing. I mean, you can smell it holding it this far away. So it's pretty awesome as far as that. I don't have any other makeup that smells like chocolate. Adorable. And it was $20. I mean, for me, that's a lot to spend on anything that you don't really want from TJ Maxx. But you know what? I thought I'd give it a try. I'm not going to do it now. It is brutally hot in this room right now. Um, I have to I have to do the makeup in a room with AC because it's just, it's, it's too gross. I just feel so gross. But um, this was... A good deal. I mean, I could not find this on Ulta. I couldn't find it on Sephora. But Macy's is selling this for $49. $49. 
I would never give him forty nine dollars for his palette. Uh, but I paid twenty nineteen ninety nine, forty nine dollars at Macy's. So if you want it, I'd go to TJ Maxx and grab this because that that's a big difference in price. <laughs> Macy's, I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, nobody's carrying it. Why is Macy's still selling it full price? I don't understand. And they wonder why they're going into financial problems. Um, so the next thing I got was something that I was going to buy last summer. I was in Boston on a business trip with my husband and we, he had to go to some meeting and I was like, I am not going to stay in the car. So I am going to walk around downtown Boston. I'd never been there before. So of course I found the local Sephora. So I wanted this product because I got a sample of it and I really liked it. And I was like, I'm going to buy the full size. Um, and when I went to the Sephora, they didn't carry Stila products. So this is the Stila lingerie souffle. So it's a little bit of a bizarre, a bizarre product. This is a primer. It's a skin perfecting primer. It is a little weird um, as far as most primers, you know, that just come in a little tube, whatever. It is really gorgeous. And I think I may have bought it more, any, I, honestly, for the packaging. But look how beautiful, look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. It is really beautiful. You have the Stila logo on top. This is like high in quality. It is very, very heavy. It's really heavy. It's beautiful. Um, I got it in the color Sunkissed. So I ran out of the store because, you know, what's going on in the world today. Store started getting a little crowded and I was like, I got to get out of here. I just let me get whatever and get out of the store. So I didn't realize, um, oh, I didn't bother to check. There may have been other colors, but I think this one's going to be good for me. Uh, it's called Sunkissed and it looks like it has a little bit of a tint. So basically it's a primer and, ooh, that's a little dark. I don't know. I don't know. This might not be good for me. This might not be good for me. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to touch a little bit of it. I really liked it. I got a, I don't even remember how I got the sample. Honestly, I don't remember where I got the sample from. Um, but I really liked it a lot. I think it's supposed to go uh, with their foundation, which I don't have and I'm not buying because I just right now have too many foundations and I really need to use them. I just want to put a little bit of this on because this is the sun kiss. I want to see how it rubs down. Don't look at my blemishes. Don't come for me. I don't have anything on. Mm, okay, that might work. Well, I'll use that like on a full face. I feel so ugh right now. I, it's so gross in here. Uh, so sorry if you can hear the fan. I have it on low, but you probably can still hear it. Um, so that was good. The Stila Lingerie Souffle, $12.99. And I don't think anybody else is selling this besides Macy's. Macy's had it, has it still, and Macy's is selling this for $38. So Macy's needs to get with the time and a simple Google would show them that they can get, anybody could get this someplace else. TJ Maxx, $12.99. Don't buy this from Macy's. Um, then I got my first Cover Effects product. I've never purchased anything from Cover Effects. Um, it was a dewy finish setting spray. It's a travel size. And I love dewy finishing finishes because, you know, with my skin is aging and I'm getting dryness and very flat and with the loss of collagen in my face. I just like a little glow. It makes me feel healthier. It makes me look healthier. I just, I just like, well, it doesn't make me feel healthier. That's not accurate, but it makes me look healthier and I'll take that. So this is the cover effects. Like I said, it is a dewy finish setting spray. I paid $4.99 for this. And because I never bought cover effects, I didn't know if that was a good price or not. So I did a little research and the travel size from the cover effects website is $15. So go to TJ Maxx and get this for $4.99. I, I do want to open it though. So that's it. It's a little bottle. It is one fluid ounce. I'm sure it's going to work fine. I like setting. It's, it's a pump, not a continuous mist. So I don't know how I feel about that, but. I'm, I'm, I've not had a lot of luck with the pump finishing sprays. 
Um, cause even when I hold it from a distance, some of these pumps are not so great and they'll get these giant droplets on your face and you feel like it's going to ruin your makeup. Um, so the next thing I got was, you know, it was just like a little filler for me. I was ready to leave the makeup section and I saw this and I grabbed it because I love this company's products. So this is Dr. Bronner's lip balms, organic lip balms, a four pack. So it comes with a uh, lemon lime. It comes with a peppermint, an orange ginger, and a naked organic lip balm. So I don't know about you guys. I live for Dr. Bronner's uh, products. I love Dr. Bronner's. Peppermint soap is a staple in my house. I recommend it. And the writing on the bottle is bananas. But it's something <laughs> you should read it when you're in the shower. But I saw these and I was like, you know what? I need some lip balm. You know, with this weather, you forget, you leave things in the car and they melt. I said, I need lip balm. And this was like, I was happy to find it. I was like, ooh, Dr. Bronner's. Because uh, I don't think I'd seen Dr. Bronner's anywhere else outside of like natural food stores. So I paid six bucks for this. And I looked it up and Amazon has this for eleven eighty four. So that's a great deal. But it looked like they had marked it down. So it might have been more before. And I don't... Let's see if I can see. No, no, I can't see. So $6 at TJ Maxx. I thought that was a really good little find as I was walking out the door. Um, so the next thing I got was a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. So this, I know you can add this. Um, you can put it on like primer, like with your primer. You can put it on mixed with moisturizer. Some people put this in with their foundation. I could not find this on Ulta and I could not find this on Sephora. So it looks like something that they might be discontinuing because they do have these shimmering skin perfector products that I saw a lot of pressed powders and things when I went looking for this. Uh, but I paid uh, $6.99 for this and I found it on Amazon for $22.53. No. So I, to, I think that Amazon tends to have like expensive makeup anyway, like things that you can buy for five dollars. There's such an there's a big upcharge on Amazon with a lot of products, which is why I you know when I buy makeup there, it's usually like a filler because I have to order something else. Um, I won't I won't buy makeup from Amazon. Gaga, why why did you put your makeup on Amazon? Um, so that was pretty good. The skin this shimmering skin perfector so I'm, I'm looking forward to using that um i kind of have a lot of these but i have the becca uh skin lip skin blur weightless blur uh whatever it's called the becca foundation i have that and i like it um a lot of people didn't like that foundation but it worked for me so you know to each his own reviews are just like very personal you know what i mean what works for me may not work for you we have different skin um my skin is aging your skin may not be aging. Some people's skin is aging more. Things settle into fine lines. And um, for me, it works. I don't know if I really care for the color so much. Like, I, it could be tweaked just a little tiny bit because I think I'm the color uh, buttercup. And I'm the worst with picking foundation because I look at myself and I'm like, oh, I'm very fair. But I'm not. I'm kind of like a medium because I'm like yellow and tan and I'm all over the place. I look very... Uh, I look light, but I'm certainly not light. In my head, I look light, because I'm not. I'm weird. I don't know. Um, and the store people are not that great at helping you do matches. I have to tell you, because I get stuff all over the map. I got ma a match for light and medium, and it cosmetics foundation, or the CC correctors. Two different stores. Um, let's see. Oh, so another Too Faced product. I know, I said the last time I never buy Too Faced products, but I'm gonna correct that and say, I'll buy Too Faced products if they were on sale at TJ Maxx. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever purchased a Too Faced product in um, Ulta, and all the times that I go there, I don't think I've ever purchased the Too Well, no, that's not true. I got the, um, the Tutti Frutti, I think the liquid eyeshadows, that's what I get. And I got those on sale, but all the other stuff I never even, mm, had no interest in. I was like, I'm not paying that kind of money for those things. They're not worth it. And I didn't pay full price for those liquid eyeshadows either. And now you can get those as well at TJ Maxx, I think for five bucks, because I bought one last time. And I think I talked about that. But I grabbed this. This was, there was uh, only one left. 
and I got it. So it's a Too Faced Your Soul Jelly Jelly Highlighter. And I paid, let's see, $9.99 for this. Now, when I went to look for this, where did I find this? I paid $9.99 for it. Too Faced website has it for $7.50. So I was a little annoyed because I was like, wait a minute, did I pay more for this than the actual retailer sells it for? The people that make this product are selling it cheaper than TJ Maxx. But then I thought shipping and handling... Tax and yeah, it's probably gonna come out more than that. So whatever, I got it in person. I paid nine ninety nine. I didn't do the math. I didn't figure out how much it would cost me to get shipped. But you know, logistically, it's probably just more money. Even though price wise, it is cheaper directly on the uh, Too Faced website, seven fifty. But QVC is selling this for thirty dollars, thirty dollars, and Walmart had it listed at twenty nine dollars. That is madness. Madness, I'm telling you. Um, I don't want to do my Sparta kick. <laughs> I keep saying madness. I'm old. I'm corny. You have to forgive me. So I thought this was really good. I got this in the color Bourbon Bronze. When I went on the Too Faced website, they had uh, two colors, this one and, a, and, a, and another one. So I thought this was really pretty. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Little, I don't know if you can see the jiggle. It's so nice. Um... This is probably really, really nice. I know I, I put that stuff before. I, I had to touch it. I had to touch it just by, oh, look at that. Let's see. Oh, it's big. Oh, 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 oh. Is it rubbing away to nothing? You can't really tell. My lighting is really not great. Um, my husband is working on that because this is not really great, but. Oh, this smells nice. And I'm holding this wrong. I don't know what this smells like. What is what is this? It looks like there's um, gummy bears. Gummy bears are on there. But what what does that smell? Bourbon bronze. I don't know what that is. It's not bad, but it's not great. But let's see. I don't know if you can see. I like that. I like I, my first experience with a jelly product, honestly, was um, ColourPop. One of the jelly things. <laughs> it, that was my first experience with a jelly product. And a jelly, I think it was like a jelly eyeshadow, something like that. And I, I like it. I still have it. And it lasts forever. You need so little of it. Um, especially with hooded eyes. I, n nothing shows. I have very hooded eyes. Um, so I have to like take the color up and it's a whole big thing. Everybody knows I'm not, I didn't invent um, hooded eye tutorials and God knows I'm not in any position to do one. Um, but I thought this was a good deal. And if you want to get this, it's $9.99 at TJ Maxx. It was the only one that I saw. And I think I got this one because I went to two TJ Maxx in two different days. I went to one in Jersey and then yesterday, the day before yesterday. And then yesterday I stopped at the one here in Pennsylvania in uh, Stroudsburg and I only saw one and I didn't see this at all in New Jersey so I don't know maybe people are snatching these up there were a lot of those chocolate bars though I'll say that so that was a really really good deal then I got um, I grabbed this just I like to keep um, hand cream in my bag especially now with what's going on in the world we're washing our hands constantly and the antis you know the hand sanitizer hand sanitizer is like it so can be drying even the non-drying ones it's like oh god my hands feel gross uh so i wanted to keep one in the bag and i paid three bucks for this it's a, a la maison cherry blossom Mo moisturizing shea butter and argan oil hand cream so i never saw this brand before maybe it is always there i have no idea i don't normally buy hand cream um randomly in the TJ Maxx. I, I just don't, I usually grab something at the pharmacy or um, if, like a box set. I like, like Coors has a really nice box set usually during the Christmas time. Uh, Coors, Coors, they sell it at Sephora. I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, um, this was really, really, it smells really nice. I got this and I paid uh, three bucks for it. And I just looked up just out of curiosity because I never heard the brand before. And Amazon sells this for $10.09. $10.09. This is 1.7 ounces. For hand cream? 
ten dollars it's hand cream it's not going on your face you know what i mean um but it says this the traditional french formula ooh la la so i thought that was a nice little you know filler and then i got this i got the l'oreal infallible pro glow it's in a pressed powder i believe it's demi glow it's a demi glow finish air light texture with highlighter so i picked it up i don't know if i'm going to use it because i don't really like to use powder products because i'm like i said aging skin powders can be unfriendly so I don't know. I picked it up because I saw the little sheen that it had. And I was like, ooh, anything that looks like it might give me a shimmer, a satiny finish, I'm attracted to. I do think I have something similar um, in a liquid form from them, I think. I'm not sure because I have so much foundation that I need to get through. Um, but I'm going to give it a try. And this is, what color is this? I can't even read. It says Creamy Natural. Most of my life I've been buying the natural or buff beige. My God, there's so many variations on, on uh, the color beige. I, who knew about undertones when, when I was younger? But now it's like difficult for me, even now, to find the right color. But I guess with all the other stuff we put on top of it, you can make almost anything work. I learned that from some of the YouTubers out here because God knows uh, bronzer can fix a lot of things, even though I don't like to really use it. So I'm going to see if I like this i paid 3.99 for this and i looked this up online and walmart has this for nine dollars and 75 cents that sounds about right i didn't look at the pharmacies the pharmacies probably have it at, at the same price but the good thing about the pharmacies is if you wait they usually have sales so it's like buy one get one 50 percent off or you know pharmacies tend to have really good sales so and cvs has a really good um app with the rewards so sometimes they have like $3 off of L'Oreal purchase of $12, something like that. I always recommend to everybody that they download the app for the pharmacy that they frequent the most. I recommend CVS. They have a great deals and rewards um, program. And with your extra bucks and all of that, you, if you like to buy makeup from the pharmacies, I don't buy a lot of makeup from the pharmacies, but some things I will. Um, so it's worth it. Download the app, CVS. And they give away free stuff sometimes uh, I, they may have finished for the season i don't know how it if it's seasonal or whatever but they do give away free things i've got um beauty wipes which i know are bad for the environment but they were free um they the tweezers they do nail files nail polish uh floss sticks they do all kinds of stuff free you don't have to make any purchase uh but you have to get it the day that it's offered so download the app and see if you get anything for free because i i I didn't see anything yesterday for free, but I check every day. So that, that was a good deal. And Amazon is also selling that infallible for $5.89. So I got it for $3.99. Saved a little money. Not, not a lot. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you guys, I didn't get this at TJ Maxx. I didn't get this at TJ Maxx at all, but it was uh, the day I went to Jersey. We stopped at a Costco because I had to do some shopping with my husband and I saw this, and I don't know how you pronounce this. I don't know if it's uh, Bosia, Bosia, Boskia. Somebody tell me how to pronounce this. I, I could have done my homework. I did all that other homework, right? I couldn't look this up, how you pronounce it. I was not an A student. Um, so this is the Jumbo Cactus Water Moisturizer. It is 3.4 fluid ounces, right? I was very curious about this product when I saw it. I said... What is that? It's like, it was $9.99, I think. I don't have the receipt, but I'm pretty sure I paid $9.99. It has a nice little cap, very nice, very well made. And then you pop this up and it's kind of, it's kind of yucky looking. I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. Ooh, I'm always tilting things. So it, it, it is kind of yucky looking. It's, it's cactus stuff, you know, and it's, it's, uh, I did put it on my face. It doesn't smell the greatest. It smells, well, it smells like plants. Um, it's cactus, so that's to be expected. But the reason I wanted to show you this, I put it on, it, it, it feels really sticky, like when you wear it. I did it, I put it on yesterday. So I know some people like that, um, that milk primer, because they say it's really, really sticky. This might be an, uh, 
thing to put on before you do your makeup because it, it is very sticky. It is sticky. I, I mean, I'm wondering if I could even use this as a primer because it is sticky. You should try it. But the reason I wanted to show this to you guys, I ramble. Um, I paid $9.99 for this. Three dot three ounces, three point four ounce fluid ounces, three point four fluid ounces. I looked this up. Sephora sells this. They sell one point six ounces, one point six for thirty eight dollars. It's the same damn product. It's a smaller product that they're selling, and they're selling it for thirty eight dollars. And I was like, it can't be. It must be a, a different a variation of the original. Maybe it's a, a, a luxe version. It has an ingredient. No, no, no. I looked very closely. It is the Cactus Water Moisturizer. This one just has the word jumbo because it's a big, big uh, container. It has more product and it's way less. I could buy three of these. Three of these jumbos for the price of the one at Sephora. Sephora, do better. Seriously. Whoever's in charge of this brand at Sephora, you need to do your homework because there's no way. Um, I would never buy this in Sephora, first of all. If I saw it, I'd be like, no, I wouldn't buy it. The only reason I bought it, it was 10 bucks. It was huge. And I was like, hmm, interesting, gimmicky, cactus. Let me check it out. I'm going to keep using it. I want to see if it does any good. I don't I don't know what it pro proclaims to do. Let's see. I got to take off the glasses to read. It says, a juicy, ultra-hydrating moisturizer infused with queen of the night cactus. Cactus uh, succulent that gives thirsty skin a sip of hydration. Peptide complex leaves skin feeling plump and bouncy while helping to improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles for visibly younger-looking skin. To use, apply liberally onto cleanse and tone skin. Can be used morning and night, alone or under makeup. See, yeah, under makeup. It makes sense because it's sticky, like that milk primer. Um, and it's warning for external uses only. I don't know why people need to be told stuff like that. But I think this is good, and I'm looking forward to using it. It doesn't smell the, great, the greatest, but peptides are always a good thing, and... Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, yes, Sephora, you got to do better. So that's everything that I got. And I am not going to do another TJ Maxx haul this month. I, that's it for me for TJ Maxx. I, I, I probably won't go back until next month. I think I'm going to do it once a month because I'm like spending a lot of money there. Even though I'm set, set, saving money, I get like crazy. Like I see things and I'm like, ooh, that I wouldn't normally buy. I feel like my mind works differently <laughs> in a TJ Maxx than it does in a Sephora. I have le different levels, right? I have the Sephora mind. I have the Ulta mind. I have the other re retailers mind, right? When I'm in Sephora, I am very, very frugal. And I look and I Google things and I'm in the store and I would swatch when we could still swatch. And I have left Sephora making no purchases because I'm like, mm, do I really need it? Do I really like it? Not so much. It doesn't look like I thought it would. The packaging is pretty, but no. So there's been times I've, I've left with nothing. There's been times that I buy things and the next day immediately return them. I remember buying a white eyeliner because one of the saleswomen had on this beautiful... Uh, graphic liner. It looked really, really nice on her. They sold it in the store. It looked incredible on her. I got it home and it looked like I was putting on um, white out. It looked, it just didn't suit me at all. I returned it the next day. And the last time I went to Sephora, I don't even remember what I purchased. I'll be honest with you because I just, things are pricier or they tend to be pricier. You know, you have parallels with some of the things that they sell in Ulta. Um, and the price is the same, but for the most part, obviously Sephora is a little bit more high end. And like I said, I'm a little bit more conscious of what I spend. Then when I go to Ulta, I'm like, oh, I can, you know, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that because Ulta has a lot of things that are marked down. They ha have, uh, you know, like the color pop and the Juvia's place and they have the big pharmacy, uh, um, 
makeup. It's too hot in here. My brain is just like, ooh. Um, they have the big pharmacy section. So they have a lot of stuff. And you're going to leave there with something. You're going to leave there with something. Um, and they always have their sale things prominently displayed. It's not like in a creepy corner somewhere or in an end cap. Like uh, the, I went there last week. And as soon as I walked in, I saw this. Uh, the Nor One of the Norvina mini pigment palettes, pressed pigment palettes. I got this one uh, when I was there, right? And I had purchased the other one. There's three of these. And I had purchased this one online. I got that online from Sephora. And this was prominently displayed as soon as you went at $14.50. So that's a really good deal, too. So... Good job with that, Sephora, and good job with that, Ulta, because I got one, the yellow one I got at Sephora, the other one I got at Ulta, and right in your face, sales are there, that's why I like Ulta, you're going to save money, they have a great rewards program, Sephora's, I hate their program, hate it, that's why I really don't spend money there, for me to spend that kind of money and to get some little crappy sample in their little cube at the register, no thanks. Um, Cause Ulta's rewards convert to actual money that I can spend in the store. That's a no brainer. And then you have everybody else. I go crazy in, in stores like TJ Maxx because I'm like, ooh, that's so cheap. And you rationalize and you're like, oh, it's only $20. It's $45 here, so I have to buy it. It's such a steal. I didn't have to buy that chocolate bar. Let's keep it real. But I, I got it because you know what? It's gimmicky. It's cute. It smells like chocolate. I never purchased anything like it, so I got it. And I hope that the foundation, I mean the foundation, I hope that the colors are good. I watched someone do a tutorial. I'm sorry I don't remember her name. If I remember it, I'll tag it below. I got, I got to go look for her video because I don't know who she is. Because um, I watched it yesterday. And she, she did her TJ Maxx haul and she did the try-on. She did like a full face. She must have central air. <laughs> because I'm just not doing it. And I'm actually, um, I have a, a contact lens appointment on Friday. Because I did one video where I did a full face. Because I'm new to YouTube. So I'm, I'm like getting my feet wet and learning, there's a margin of error, obviously. And I did a whole face. It was, it came out, <laughs> it was a shit show because I had no contact lenses in. And I don't know, you know, for all you girls out there and guys out there that wear glasses, it is very difficult to do makeup when you are blind. Like I cannot see very well without my glasses. I need to have them on. Um, even to do makeup, you know, I'm, I'm older now, so I got to take off my glasses to read and it's just very, very difficult to get in there and do things. And when you can't see, when you're trying to do something in front of a camera and you can't see. So Friday I have my appointment to get my contacts. So I promise you guys that once I do have the contacts, I'll be, I'll be up instead of just talking about it. Um, but I think that for now, that's everything. I painted the wall, finally. Do you like it? This is called um, Shadow by Benjamin Moore. It was color of the year, I think, in 2017. I saw it on Pinterest. I fell in love with it. My husband didn't want me to get it because he's like, it's purple. It's so purple. Uh, but I explained to him in different lights, it plays with the light. You know, it looks... It can look almost black in a certain light. And then it's like really pretty. And I, I started putting up my stuff. My hubby hung my shelves for me. But I, I can't really tilt right now. I have my little figurines up there. And I have my little Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg with her bow gum. But as you can see, one of my pictures fell. Uh, because we didn't put it up right. So she fell down. It was my uh, Princess Leia. Rebel, rebel. I got to repair that and then you guys will be able to see that. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope that you were interested. I hope you had a good time. I had fun making this video for you guys. And again, I will be doing makeup once I have the contact lenses and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.